Hey everyone, it's your AI tech guide back with a big topic today. The impact of AI on our planet. Now, you know I love exploring the latest and greatest in the AI world, but there's no avoiding it. All this amazing tech comes at a cost. Data centers, those giant warehouses packed with servers that make the internet and AI possible, are using up a ton of energy and water. We're talking megawatts, people, enough to power a small city. And guess what? As AI gets more powerful and more widely used, that demand is only going to skyrocket. We're talking self-driving cars, personalized medicine, even smarter virtual assistants. All those cool AI applications need serious processing power, which means more data centers. And you guessed it, more energy consumption and water usage. It's a bit of a dilemma, right? We want all the benefits of AI, but not at the expense of the planet. But hold up, don't hit that unsubscribe button just yet. There are some really innovative solutions emerging. One of the coolest, literally, is liquid cooling. Instead of using massive amounts of energy to keep servers cool with traditional air conditioning, imagine this. Servers submerged in a special liquid that efficiently absorbs heat. This liquid cooling tech is far more efficient at dissipating heat, meaning less energy wasted and fewer emissions. Plus, it can drastically reduce the amount of water needed, which is a big deal, especially in areas facing water shortages. And it doesn't stop there. Remember how I always talk about renewable energy? Well, data centers are increasingly turning to sources like solar and wind power. Imagine massive solar farms powering entire data centers, significantly reducing their reliance on fossil fuels. Some companies are even building data centers in cooler climates, like Iceland or Norway, where they can use the naturally cold air for cooling. But here's the really cool part. AI itself can be a hero in this story. By analyzing massive amounts of data from sensors within the data center, AI algorithms can optimize cooling systems, adjust server workloads in real time, and even predict potential equipment failures, preventing downtime and wasted energy. It's like having a super efficient AI manager running the whole operation. And it's not all just about fancy tech either. There are simple but effective sustainable practices that are becoming more common. Things like using recycled materials in data center construction, designing more energy-efficient servers, and even planting trees around facilities to offset carbon emissions. Every little bit helps, right? So, what's the takeaway here? AI's hunger for power is real, but so is our ingenuity to find solutions. It's a team effort, really. Tech companies need to prioritize sustainability, governments need to incentivize green practices, and yes, even consumers like you and me can play a role. Choose tech brands that are transparent about their environmental impact. Reduce your own digital footprint by deleting unnecessary files and emails. Every little bit truly does make a difference. I'm really passionate about making sure we explore the exciting world of AI in a way that benefits everyone, both now and in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What other sustainable tech solutions have you heard of? Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching.